I'm over here at the Barely Arts booth and we're going to chat with him and see what all we have coming up that is new, that I don't know about, and that you guys may not know about. And he's, we're going to hold him to it. He says he's going to come on a live with me. So anyway, um, not just this one, but on a Tuesday night, he's going to come on live with me. So let's go ahead and chat, okay? So tell us who you are, what you do, and um, I should probably bring out my mics, but we're not going to do it right yeah, now. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I'll just yell. <laughs> you really loudly. <laughs> um, so my name is Jeremy Sue, of course. I'm here with Barely Art, the CEO of Barely Art, the co-founder of Barely Art, right? So, mm -hmm. of course, as you know, we have all of our lovely little products here. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about each single, uh, every one of them. But I just realized that my booth is not quite the way I set it up last night. <laughs> okay, we're going to do this from scratch. It's day three. <laughs> so, of course, we have the Barely Art Precision Craft Glue right here. This is the mini size. For those of you that don't know, we actually have some new packaging that kind of rolled Ooh. in over the last year. This is it. We've taken a lot of different uh, suggestions from everyone that has been talking about it. We open it up just like that. It makes it really easy. Um, we also have our new PAT certification, which means we're acid-free, photosafe, and archival, which is very important for a lot of our scrapbookers and journal makers, etc. Um, in the mini here, you can see all the different Okay, parts guys, I am going to give him a mic, so we're going to see how this does and okay, see if mic, I can... If I have mic. not switched over to a mic. Can you hear me? Testing, testing. If you are in the chat, please say hi. All right, how's that? Better? I'm hoping that we can hear. They're not telling me anything yet, but that's normal. Okay, okay, okay. Sounds good. Okay, so anyways, this is the new packaging there, as you can see. This is for the mini. It shows all the different things there, QR code to get you to any types of support or anything like that. And it's just in this lovely packaging here. So this is that mini piece right here. It comes with this right here, and of course the tip kit, if you're not familiar with that. The tip kit comes with these pieces and a cleaning pen. I found it. And a cleaning pin here. It's been Debbie, a little bit. Debbie, Debbie Kruppman says nearly, she said, I think she knew that she's doing the talk to text. Talk to text or something. Yeah, so she says she nearly. Good, so good. Barely Arts is her go-to. Hey. And it works good in the glue press. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, I swapped, yes. I swapped mine I swapped out. it out? And, yeah. Very nice. That's awesome. Yeah. I just got the glue press, so I've been using Barely Oh, and because I'm very sporadic, and it works with metallic foil. Look at you that. Oil on wood, guys. Yes, you, on this, wood. This is wood. Yes. This is Our friends over at Icon Art over here <laughs> actually gave us or tested it out for us on this. They're like, I wonder if it works with foil. Like, I'm actually I, not I sure. I my video with them where I, I did, a, did a, I don't know if it works. Maybe. I don't know. So there it is with foil right there on that one. Hello. 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 Appreciate hello. it. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right. So we've got that there. So again, this is the practice here. If you haven't seen it before comes with different tips so you just easily pull that out like that here's the second tip on that one you just uh, click it in like that yep. right there and it's tight right it's not going to come out you can do your beads like that and then of course the precision tip is the one that everyone typically uses for this as you go we and get a good hold without using up all our glue right Susan? exactly good morning, Susan. Exactly. So there you go. Just like that. Fabulous. Little tiny, little tiny pieces there. So that is our mini. It comes in, or our precision craft glue. It comes in a few different sizes as well as you can see over here. So we have, boom, the mini itself, the original size, which is this four ounce that comes with the tips too. And it has the refill here with the I refill still there. Have half a bottle of the refill. That's good. That's good. That's why <laughs> it's called the refill. Keep this cute little bottle that I can use for other things. Exactly. Later. Yeah. yeah. So what people have done with the bottle as well is that once they're done with it, they'll put a little bit of white paint in it, swirl it around, and then whoop, nice little thing. Um, and then the last one is the bundle size here too, which comes with these two together, and of course the tip kits and the tip caps, etc. We also get a lot of questions on like, what are the differences between all the colors? It's just so that we don't get confused on what you're sending, <laughs> on what we're sending you. Oh, Susan says, love and count the letters. And count the love letters. Love Barely Arts Glue. Very and nice. Deb says, love the tips. Very nice. I'm glad. I'm glad. Okay. So that's that right there. Um, so some of the other products, number two products right now is our QB set. Okay. So this is our QB set here. We have two different ones we have the white ones and we have the black ones that you can see here but look at the thicknesses mm -hmm. look at that so there's two different thicknesses with each one so you have this thickness here which is an eighth of an inch and then you have this thickness here which is a quarter of an inch 
right? So when you get one pack, it comes with all of those things. And so what you have is that you have in one side, you have squares. The other side, you have strips, just like that. And then of course, the same thing on the thicker side, you have those cubes, and then you have the strips here as well. So if you're doing some basic type things, like you just need a little bit of dimension here, you can see like on these flowers that we made, these flowers are made with that thin one, right? But let's say you're going to a shaker card, and this is gonna be a little bit hard to see on camera, but on a shaker card, you typically use the thicker ones. So this is made just for that. And if you take a feel right there, there's no extra oh, residue. It's not sticky, guys. It's not sticky, right? Perfect. Because of that, make it sure makes that. It's real easy so that you can do it in your shaker without having to exactly. add powder and all the things. Yes, exactly. Well, and Susan loves the black ones. Okay, good. All right, so you have this right here. If you take this and peel it off like that, you're already ready to do making part of a shaker card here. Let's go ahead and push it right down there. Once you. Circles and. Um, different shapes like that mm -hmm. are usually harder to do than squares, yes, right, Yes, indeed. And so whenever you're doing that, you can put it around to whatever shape that you're making. Once you press it down there, it shouldn't go anywhere. And some people also, if you're a little bit, uh, if you have a little OCD, you can put a little <laughs> bit of barely out glue kind of on the sides there like that to kind of lock it in, especially if you have fine glitter, chunkier glitter. <laughs> that says, I need, need all this ASAP. Yes, <laughs> there we go, there we go. Well, go to our website, barely.art. <laughs> And you feel around, of course, on there on the inside as well. There's no extra residue or anything like that. That's so going to get in the way. your sequins and beads that you put in there, your shaker, and all your fun shaker bits are not going to stick to the wall. Yes. Yep. So that's the walls there. This, again, is a quarter inch size there, which is kind of your typical for a lot of different shakers. You can also stack up more to whatever height that you need if you wanted oh to God. as well. So you can definitely, you know, take this off here and then go for maybe one of these here as well and kind of keep going depending on what you're doing there. And it is very, very sticky, so be careful with that, right? So you can build it up to pretty much whatever you want. Again, that is super, super thick, just like that, right? Cool. All right, so, and then of course, you got your standard stuff as well. Again, two sizes, I'll put them down here so you can kind of see the height differences between the two. This one is made to be the half the size of this one, so two of these equals one of those. Makes it very easy. Fabulous. No math needed. Okay. So that's QB, is our second popular product there. We also have some alcohol inks over here on the side, which is kind of a little bit different. Yes. Look at that. So we have a couple of different colors here. We have the Classic Collection, and we have the Forest Collection, too. These are super saturated alcohol inks. If you go to our website, barely.art, you can see them. In this collection here, there's 12 different alcohol inks that we have here. They're super saturated, and what the idea behind them is when you take your super saturated red, for instance, and you want to make it a little bit lighter, you use the blending solution to kind of get the, to get to that color that you want it to. Cool. All these different colors here um, have some fun names on them. I just like them in general. We have Passion Red, Heroic Orange, Joyful Yellow, Soothing Green, right? So they're kind of like mood colors going on there. Um, this one here, we have the Forest Collection. It's five different colors that we have. Uh, representing some of our favorite woods, right? My favorite's the cherry one. Yeah. If I don't have it with me, unfortunately, but if you, you can use alcohol inks on any non-porous surface. I've seen it used like on tumblers and things. You can use it on tumblers and different things like that. If you use it on tumblers, you can take a really stiff old brush, put a, a couple of drops on it and just do one brush stroke and it ends up looking yeah, like one of those right there, yeah. That is fabulous. Yeah, so it's, it's a little really bit different. It's hard to find the right colors to do that. It's so hard. So all of those there represent all those lovely colors. Start doing resin tumblers again. <laughs> I know, right? The last one I did was all glitter and it was like the type it's Stephen King's it on the Ah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, but that would be fabulous. Yes. And our newest product right now is our Clearly Craft Plastic. It's a bit of a tongue full. We just call them Clearly. Makes it a little bit easier on my tongue. Um, so, the, what is so special about Clearly Craft Plastic is let me go ahead and grab. This sheet here, this one's a little bit worn, so excuse the extra wrinkles. The craft plastic sheet here is double-sided, right? Well, the reason for that is because if you're cutting this with like a Cricut or something along that line, so you wanna protect both the sticky side surface and the top surface when you're cutting. Okay. So, and of course, the big thing is that it is very, very clear. That's one side right there. You can take a feel on that one. And then this side is, did I peel the side already? No, not it yet. It's cloudy, so I'm thinking, yeah. Hold on. Like yeah. Cloudy. Okay, watch this. <laughs> it went back <laughs> up on me. A little bit of static. That is super, super clear. 
So you can barely even wow. see that right there. All you right? can see is the shine. It looks like glass, yeah, guys. Exactly, yeah. So that is that there. It's actually very good for if you're doing any types of um, stencils or if you're doing any types of embossing, you can emboss this. You can cold emboss it. Just run it through your machines and die cuts. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm also yeah. an influencer on Spellbinders. Hey. Have you tried this with the 3D embossing board? We need to try. We oh, definitely need to try. We need to try that. Yes, exactly, yes. I need to talk to Spellbinders, too, because I don't think they're carrying some of the other products here. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so yes. So this is that right there. Um, we were going to test some more on the heat on the heat side of things, the heat state side like of things. Being yeah. able to do like um, toner foiling. Or yeah, exactly. Like yeah, that. it's so new that we haven't done a lot of testing on like all the different crafts because we can't hold on to it. We're selling too many of them right now, <laughs> so you can only get this on our website, barely.art, or on I think Amazon right now is where the two places you can get it on. And then give it a little bit once we get some more in, then we'll. Uh, all the other little stores will have them after that. Yeah. So yeah, that's the craft, uh, the clearly craft plastic there. Well, and that's pretty much fun, everything guys. we got. And you know what? If, I, if you popped in late, guess what? He's going to come on a live stream with us. We're going to craft together or something. We're going to do something. Yeah. We'll figure out something weeks, together, so yes. He's one of the guys I'm going to be contacting. I mentioned in the last live that nope. I'm going to so they can see who's talking. Yeah, exactly. There you go. <laughs> oh, and Mike. <laughs> oh, and Mike. Yes, and Mike. And Mike. Yeah, Mike. Um, anyway, um, I, he's going to be getting together with us. So we're going to be playing, and who knows what we're going to make. You know how it goes. It's seat in my pants. Deb is headed to the website. All right. <laughs> yes. <Let's go. laughs> so we're going to have a bunch of fun. Um, I may go live some more today. I'm going to try to just see a few more folks before I have to head over to the airport. Um, but I don't know how much live I'm doing. I am planning on going live tomorrow over on Twitch. And I see people in here and you have not smashed the like button yet. What is your problem? Go ahead and smash the like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see when I do go live because there's always content up. And I've got a lot of folks that are going to come and hang out with us. We're going to have so much fun. Okay. I will see you guys later. Bye, guys. And Susan said thank you. Perfect. And yeah, I'm I'm kind of